Hello everyone, Doug here, gonna do a quick video. Now, let me preface this by saying I am a new expert, okay? But, I did get something in the other day that's gonna help me do some better video and, and all that. And what I wanted to do is talk about it a little bit today. So, what did I get? This bad boy right here. The the Joby Gorilla Pod Focus and what is it? Ball Head X. Now just to give you a little bit of an idea the difference of what a ten dollar thing cost I mean uh, the quality of a ten dollar one which is all plastic now this thing is fine I mean it works good I've used it a bunch of times for you know GoPros and, and things like that but I'm not sure that it will hold this new camera so I didn't want to take the chance with this kind of a plastic one off Amazon ten bucks I'll uh, if I can remember I'll put a link down on it this one is the M Premium little small one. So, to this mammer jammer, I got my camera on it right now, right here. The size is tremendous. Um, so, all right. Now, the other thing that this ball head X does is it rotates as you can see that right there that rotates on a 360 degree um, rotation there it also if I remember correctly will um, let's see here will rotate oh, let me keep this thing tightened up there's a couple of different little things you can do. but So you can do it like that on that ball head X. And if you need to go further than, uh, what is that, 90 degrees? or You can go in that little, there's a little spot right here. Y'all can see that. Right there that you can move it down into to go completely I guess that's 90 degrees yeah that's 90 degrees so um, and it's it's uh, it's not like I don't want to you know it's not uh, it feels really sturdy now this is the difference between I would say a a hundred dollar um, piece of equipment and a ten dollar one I think ten twelve bucks but this works you know for little stuff I just didn't want to trust it with this camera now the other thing that it does which is kind of helpful is it has and, and you can see what I'm doing this front front one right here this is what does the rotation to makes it free to rotate 360 degree around the um, horizontal axis I believe that's what that's called and I can tighten it up if I tighten up that little little twist thing right there now it won't go okay and then this one down here right here is the one I loosen up let me grab this camera I loosen this up then I can change and rotate on that little ball that you see right there that's in there it's like a big ball bearing and I can tighten it up if I want it to lean a certain way or anything crazy like that. I can take it and lean it over here. And then I can lock it if I want some kind of shot. I don't know. I'm not a photographer. I'm just learning how to do all this stuff. You photography people probably know better than I do. Uh, at least if you don't, you're in photography. I feel sorry for you. But anyway. So that's that, that one. And then there's one back here on the back 
that is the mount to the uh, camera. So you can take it off and it slides that so you can slide it off. And what it does, now when you first get this, it's going to come with that little thing down there, which is, I think it's thing, no, this one, something else I had had that on there. But, so, makes it easy, you can take it off, you know, like that. Now, when you get it, it comes with a 3 8 inch, that's that uh, quarter inch, I can't remember what they call it, but it's a, it's a quarter inch, um, there's a thread pattern that's common to like all cameras and GoPros and all that other kind of stuff that they have. So you take that, but first of all, you got to take the three eighth one off of it and then you can take it and um, this right here, if you see that, when I tighten that up, it clamps down right there. See that? So, when I want to take my camera off or put on, and it's not the same size. If you can tell, it's longer distance between here. I think this is the one. Yeah. Longer distance between here than it is between here. So it's a little bit on the oblong, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, so it fits in there. And then, this thing out of the way. Then you tighten this down on it, clamps in, and let me make sure everything else is tight before I pick it up. And then it will hold your camera. So, pretty cool, definitely heavy duty. Without question, this thing is heavy duty. So I'm going to be using this to do some stuff, some crazy shots and hanging it off of stuff and, and uh, all that. Hopefully I don't break it. But when I say this thing is a beast, if you can see that right there, these are uh, metal. The little in-between, the little ball things are metal. On here, that's probably plastic. Lightweight. Doesn't want to, that's not going to hold much compared to this beast right here. So, um, and man, if I had a, let's see here. I don't know what I did with my, my, um, ruler. I was going to measure it for you and show you how, how uh, tall it is. So you'll have some perspective, you know, I don't know if you can, probably, well, you can't see my hand right there anyway. Um, but I don't have a ruler here anywhere. So, uh, let's try this right here. I found something. You, everybody knows what this is. This is what, a eight and a, ten and a half by eight inches. So, this is just a theme book. So, this is ten and a half inches. You can see that right there. That's ten and a half inches to the bottom to right there. So what is that? Up to the top with the ball heads, 14 inches, 14 and a half inches. Just gives you an idea of the height of it and the strength, the weight. Uh, this bad boy is, man, uh, this, is, this is well made. Very, very um, well made. Has the little rubber balls on the bottom. They're actually, it's just a cover over that, that very last um, little ball bearing thing that they, that they use with this. But you can do it in all different, you know, a lot, you see a lot of people take them and kind of curve it, I guess, with this little thing right here. You can do anything you want with it. Loosen up the ball so you can, you know, do a selfie like that where it changes the angle. You'll see some people will bend them at this angle, you know, to, to be able to do do your selfie. 
selfie pictures, selfie videos, or whatever, but it's nice to have that little, uh, you know, that ball on the end that you can change. You can change the angle of it, just all kinds of stuff. It's super, super cool. So, uh, like I said, just got this in. I have really not done much with it uh, other than just admire its, like, and it, these things are not easy to move. This this is a a beast, and when I say a beast, I mean a good in, in good terms. This thing is a beast. Very well made, uh, and you know, uh, fourteen and a half inches tall. I don't know exactly what the weight is. Um, I'll put a link to the one that I got in the video, and. Uh, so if you want to get one, you can do like I did and go on Amazon. The Amazonian, that's where I got mine. But that's, this is the Joby. I hope that's how you pronounce it because I really don't know if that's exactly how you pronounce it. But the, let's see here, let's get out of the light. Can you see that? I've got all kinds of lights going on here trying to, playing with some things, trying to make videos better. Better um, pictures, better quality sound. What did I do with the box? There we go. You can see it'll do all kinds of angles. Hook it on rails. This one's just designed for your heavier equipment, your better equipment. You see there, this is the box. The Gorilla Focus. Gorilla Pod Focus and um, oh gosh, I always keep forgetting Ball Head X. Kind of hard to read backwards. So first impressions, I like it. This thing is sturdy to the to the nth degree. I mean, this thing is a beast. If you're out doing some camera work and um, uh, you know, something happens, pick this thing right here and beat somebody to death with it. You, this is like a baseball bat. Ugh. I mean, seriously. You could probably wrap somebody up in it. I don't know if they could get out, if you could tie their hands up properly. But anyway, that's where we are with this. First impressions. And the first impressions are good. From somebody who is a amateur... And when I'm saying amateur, I'm saying amateur to, I'm pre-amateur when it comes to, to cameras and, and all this stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm literally uh, past the point, no, I'm not past, I'm before the point of, of amateur. I'm not even amateur stage as far as cameras and all this kind of stuff go. But I'm, I need camera stuff to do a bunch of stuff I'm trying to do for work. And, you know, to help uh, make better videos and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, check out the, uh, uh, some of my other videos that I'll be using all this pretty equipment. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and hopefully I'll be having some better videos for you. That is the plan. That's the goal. Better quality videos. Better editing. I would love to know, for those of you that are experts, I would love to know what you're using for something like this. I would love to know what software that you're using for stuff like this. And I'll take this off where you don't see the glare from the lights, but that also means I can't see anything. So I would love to know what you guys are using for um, this type of stuff. I would love to know what kind of cameras you guys are using. Um, I have, you know, one of your cheap Chinese drones. I have the uh, Hero 5 that I use. And I have this new one that I just got, which I'll do something on this one. This is the T7i with the Rode uh, mic because I do a lot of stuff outside 
Um, so I think this is pretty much, and then I just have a, a Note 5 phone. I'm actually doing the, the recording on this one on the Note 5. So, but I do a lot of um, outside, you know, uh, kayaking, paramotoring, things like that. Um, love to have your opinion on what you're doing, mainly software. That's uh, editing software. That's what it, that's the main main thing I'm at right now is trying to get some better editing software um, for making better videos. So, thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a great day. Like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell um, so that way you know when when I put out new videos. I'm gonna try to do at least one a week, if not more. I do have to work. You know, which stinks, but yeah, I guess that's what you have to do. All right. Have a great day, guys.